Ladies and gentlemen, welcome, welcome, welcome to the French Connections Late Night Edition. Today's date is, and it is, uh, it's a late night here, ladies and gentlemen, Friday. It is February 9th, 2007. It's a Friday. It is 3.02 a.m. in my hour. I'm calling from France, of course. I have on the line with me uh, Barry Shamish, and I'm, I'm welcoming Mr. Shamish to uh, the French Connection. And uh, hello, Barry, are you with me? I am. Barry, you know, uh, we, we were talking privately for a short time ago, and uh, it was interesting when we uh, we were discussing some of the historical events that have um, actually, in, in your view and in my view, we, we, we kind of parted company on several of the issues that we were discussing. So, but let's 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 start from the beginning here. Y your goal is to make sure that. Uh, Israel's future is assured, and that's your hope. And 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 uh, is that incorrect in saying? No, that's correct. Yeah, and and um, Israel's uh, inception, the the idea of Israel started when, Barry, in your view? Well, again, um, there's a mess going on with with the Zionist movements. But what it comes down to is the Zionist movement that uh, you don't necessarily know as we do. We call it the Bolshevik Zionists or the Labor Zionists or the left wing Zionists. They took over uh a movement that had potential to be uh remarkably fair and uh there from was what group though? Now, what group did it take over from? The well, Zavis it took over the whole movement. Ones, right? It took over the entire movement. From, but but see, it, before that, it was the, Zavis, the Zabotinsky. No, the, the, Sabbat, the Sabbateans goes back to 1666. No, the Sabotinsky. The Zab, uh, oh, Jabotinsky. Yes, Jabotinsky. Okay, Jabotinsky yeah. was the uh, revision Zionist. They were the ones who got the uh, plans um, uh, that the Bolshevik Zionists uh, were actually going to do. Look, if you don't know what the transfer agreement is, it's I know what the very, transfer agreement is, yeah. Okay, it's a very nasty uh, agreement cut with the Nazis in 1933. Mm -hmm. uh, with, uh, this was the uh, Bolshevik Zionists, or what I call the Sabbatean Zionists, but I won't go into that now. The fact is they cut a deal with the Germans, and the Germans um, uh, banned all Jewish groups but labor Zionism. And uh, in 1932, there were over 250 Jewish groups in Germany. In 1934, there was one, and only one, and that was labor Zionism. And unfortunately, the, the transfer agreement uh, said that the Germans make life impossible for the Jews. They come to Palestine. Where but they wasn't there the a, wasn't again. there a deal that well, that happened back in the 1920s that said uh, that uh, if uh, that there was a, a turn on the Jews that the, the Jews said that they were boycotting everything German in the world. That happened in the that in was the in the 1930s. Obviously, it was only after Hitler came to power. No, no, no. Uh, this was before that. This was this why was, was there something... be an anti-German? Before Hitler came to power, why would there be an anti-German? No, the, Ger the, the, the German no, no, Jews. The German Jews actually were were in, encouraged to turn on Germany um, by uh, people like uh, Mr. Baruch and Mor Morgenthal. This and, is uh, silly. This is just silly. That's why, why is it happen. silly? No, it, t tell me why it's silly. Because it didn't happen. Now, if we could go back the to history the real history, said it did. Well, I don't believe it. And you don't believe frankly, it. I, I know my people very well, Mr. Uh -huh. Baruch. And, and all the people, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> you'll have to excuse me, that's a cold. Mr. Baruch and all the people uh, that were in, in the FDR administration, and by the way, that was a lot later than 1920, but nonetheless, they did rise, and these are the Sabbatean Jews, uh, some are anyways, who made sure that the Holocaust took place. That's a different history. You're, you're mixing things up. Now, let's go backwards. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There was an agreement signed. It was um, by, by the Jewish agency of, of Israel, of Jerusalem, mm -hmm. that the Germans would send, would make life so rotten that German Jews would come to Palestine. And they got about 80,000. Um, I've heard the figure 60 to 80,000 came to Palestine. Then the British... Uh, uh, cut off the gates of Palestine and left all the, the Jews of, of, of Europe to face their own masters. It was awful. It was the world's most awful deal. The, the uh, Jabotinsky group went to America and tried to organize uh, uh, riots, street protests, anything against the Nazis, 
But they were stopped there by the by the people. Yes, but, you but are there mentioning. was an action back when 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 the return when after the uh, signing of the Balfour documents and the return of the um, the uh, these Jew these Jewish um, uh, not not emigres, um, uh, emissaries to uh, to Britain when they got the signature of the of the United States and, and Mr. Wilson to sign on to entering World War One. The deal was, and this well, is in history now. The deal was that uh, that, that America would um, would provide the uh, f the fighting force for the United States and and the, these Jewish em these Jewish emissaries. Oh, there was some Jewish crackpot who, who you can get on the internet. But this is this is, no, but this is this is somebody. Morgenthal. No, these are part of the history books now. No, they're not part of the history books. Yes, they entering are. Entering yes, World War Entering World War One mm. is what you're talking about. Right? That's right. And you're claiming that the Jews made Germany enter, uh, made the United States enter World War I to destroy Germany. That's right. Okay? That's, what That's what happened. What yeah. There's one person who has ever, ever made that claim, and he's what, Myron somebody from the 50s, I heard this. Look. Myron you Fagan, you take, mean Myron Fagan? Yeah, that's his name. That's the only time I've ever heard that claim. Now, well, it's actually real history, history I'll books, give you a though, real Barry. history. No, but it's actually in the history books. I I, I read this. Yeah, you just turn up, you know, uh, uh, Morgan Stern. I don't even know who. No, Morgan was. Thal. Morgan Thal. Morgan Thal. His family Marbu still runs New York now. And Brandeis. And yes, Brandeis became a ch chief justice after um, after and Woodrow all Wilson. All these people got the United States to join the war. Listen. Mm. If you want mm. the real history, I'll give you the real history, uh, and it's okay. not a very nice history. According to who, though? What do you mean according to? I've, I'll tell you what. The history according to who, You Barry? go on to lulu.com. Lulu, 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 Lulu now, Lulu. Who's, Lulu. who's in charge of the site, Lulu? Just, just hear me out. This is silly. We're getting nowhere. Uh, all you're doing is interrupting every word I say. Nobody can talk like but that. But no, I need to know what Lulu is before you can Lulu, recommend it. Lulu, you get my book, Shabtais V, Labor, Zionism, and the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. You type in my name. My name is Shamish. Yep. C-H-A-M-I-S-H, yep. and you'll get all the books you need to prove whatever you want, but the fact of the uh, matter are is... They, are they going to prove anything you want or anything that, that, that's factual? That's a silly question. Okay, I mean, these are silly questions. Now, if you They're want not to silly talk, questions. I mean, they, they, they need to be asked, Barry. No, they don't really. Now, if you want to okay. hear me talk, I'll tell you what happened. And I'll mm -hmm. tell you who Theodore Herschel was and when things went wrong. But if you want to instill all these other things, we're not having a conversation. I'm not instilling anything. I'm asking. I'm asking You're you to clarify. You're not letting me be interviewed. You're just interrupting me. I've never had a worse interview. Now, if you want, uh, well, it, it's not going to get better from here. <laughs> okay. It won't get better from to... here, Barry. Uh, you're not going to do this, are you? No, you're it'll never get better from here. What you need to do, what you need to do, Barry, is you need to clarify your sources. No, I don't. Oh, I you do, you don't. do. I've this is part of what. This is part of what being. This is oh, what's shit. called. A, 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 this is. See, Barry, listen. You, you have due diligence when you do research, Barry. That's. This is what you you need to do. You're really yeah. going to lecture me on due diligence? You, that yes, I am going to lecture you on it, please. Yeah, that sight of yours is not due diligence. That sight of yours is a mishmash of everything you could pick up that might look bad for Zionism. Listen, what I, the knowledge I have isn't that good to begin with. Uh, but unfortunately, if it isn't revealed, we lose Israel. And this is a very difficult thing. Now, I exposed the Rabin assassination. Rabin was not murdered uh, by the kids sitting in prison. He was murdered by Shimon Paris. And this is a very difficult fact for Jews to, uh, to to live with, but I proved it. And everyone knows in Israel now that I was right. All the polls say so. Now, when it comes to research, nobody does a better job, and you'll just have to accept it. Who, oh, from than you do? I'm telling you straight off. Then, if then I just you say do the best research. You can go look it up afterwards. But, but you do head. the best research on what now? On no, what subject? I, listen, you can't do this. Now, on then, what subject do you do the best research? My subject, my subject is the modern history of Israel. Now, next, oh. we go backwards. You go. I have a nice little site where you can. You decide. It's www.thebarrychamishwebsite.com. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a mm -hmm. very nice site. And guess what? The Jews don't like it. So you can be very happy about that. Now, next, 
why they don't like it is a very, very sad fact, but the Jews can be fooled into committing suicide. That Holocaust uh, was done, and this is not something Jews want to hear, but without that transfer agreement, I doubt there could have been a Holocaust. Things were that bad that the Jewish agency signed with the Nazis a deal to get Jews to Palestine. Well, I got news for you. The Jews don't like hearing that. Now, that's what I do, and I'm hoping to get rid of these people running Israel because now here's something that's going to make you ecstatic. There's not going to be an Israel run much longer. It's being slowly, slowly uh, disintegrated. And no, the no, 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 Barry, Barry, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You see, you, you, you are mixing your own ideas about me and into your own rhetoric here. And that, uh, see, that's certainly that's certainly not fair. So what rhetoric. you really what you really need to do is is understand that I don't give a ras patootie about whether you're Jewish or you're or you're from Mars. The simple fact of the matter is, Barry, and what, whether you have a squeaky you know, voice. How did you know I was from Mars? Yeah, you, know, you, you, you obviously you you're, you sometimes you discuss things as though you you were, but I you you must no, understand. I don't. That. You do. No, I don't. Yes, you no, do, because you, you try to you try to you try to frame arguments in terms of your own argument rather than in, in the terms really. of the facts. Yes, All you right, do. Let me go on. Thank you. Now, next. You see, this is exactly well, what I'm talking this about. This is silly. It's not a radio interview. It's it's uh, whatever it is. It's not a radio interview. Well, what is now, it? Now, next, we go backwards. I'm going to try and instill some history, uh, whether uh, it's appreciated. There was a major meeting in Jerusalem in 1898, and that meeting... Yeah, but what happened before that? Let's go before that. What happened in Baal, Switzerland? I want to talk about 1898. I don't want yes, to but, talk but, but see, that. Yes, but see, you, you can't say that unless you know what happened in Switzerland before that. Because it's, 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 it's moot in its, in its importance unless you say that the, 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 the Theodore Herzl... Yeah, you don't know what went on in 1896 when Kaiser Wilhelm and Theodore Herzl met in Constantinople. Constantinople. Listen, stop this. Stop, stop this. this. This is stupid. I'm trying to make a point. All you do is interrupt. I mean, that's all you're doing so far. Now, no, because you're not flowing here. Go, go ahead. Go ahead, Barry. Thank you. In 1896... Kaiser Wilhelm and Theodor Herzl, Father of Zionism, met in Constantinople. We don't know what was agreed to, but we know this. Kaiser Wilhelm came to Jerusalem in 1898. People didn't come to Jerusalem in 1898. There were no roads. There were bandits. It was dangerous. It wasn't a hospitable population. But Kaiser Wilhelm went there, and he consecrated three churches. The very, very important church was the Dormition Abbey. That is uh, more than modeled after Charlemagne's very first cathedral in the city of Aachen. Now, this is German uh, control over Jerusalem. They built it on the highest mountain in Jerusalem, uh, Mount Zion. This is now an issue in Israel where the Germans, of course, want Mount Zion back and the Vatican is back in them. Nonetheless, there was someone else at that meeting. And this was the most important thing that happened, maybe to the world if it were understood. That's someone else who was Theodor Herzl. He also trekked up to Jerusalem without its robes and with its bandits to meet uh, Kaiser Wilhelm. Now, you go into your Internet. I know you love to do this. Why not? You look up Kaiser Wilhelm, Theodor Herzl, Jerusalem, 1898, and you'll find, repeat over and over again, that Kaiser Wilhelm rebuffed Herzl. Now, rebuffing could only mean one thing. Herzl wanted a state... And the Germans said no to him. And the reason why is because the Germans had to make war to get that state. They weren't prepared to do so, and they made an alliance with the Turks. Herzl returned to England, and he turned to the English. He said, we can't do it anymore. The German-Turkish alliance is too but why strong. Were, why would they be take, making a state out of an area that... that um that goes back to something that I haven't touched on. Uh -huh. Okay, that's called the Sabbatean notion. Uh, of, there's a very bad side of Judaism in that we've been infiltrated. Judaism, that's Sabbatai Z, right? Sabbatai Z. Yes, and he, was, he, he, he ended up, he ended up renouncing Judaism and becoming a Muslim because he was under threat of death yes. in, in, in front of the um, Ottoman king yes. or the Ottoman caliph. 
Yes, the Sultan. And, and in fact, uh, but what he ended up doing was having his, his uh, followers infiltrate the Ottoman Empire and become what we now know today as the New Turks or the Young Turks. And those uh, that, Young Turks took over the country and they still hold sway to this day. That happened again from the meeting in Jerusalem. Oh, there it did. But, no but, still, but did you don't deny that, that Turkey today is still held uh, no, by and large no by the Young Turks? They're, they're, I have no problem with that. Turkey yes, but so the that. Jews are still running Turkey. Well, they are Muslims. They're in fact Sabbateans. No, they're uh, not. Many because, of them no, are, they're because they're they're, they're just they're like the Muranos of, of southern of southern they America. They've been mixed so many times over and over again. They're not Jews even genetically, basically. What ah. you've got are Sabbateans. Hmm. Now the Sabbateans uh, uh, started in 1666. <laughs> when Shapitsvi declared a new Messiah had arrived, him, uh, and he used uh, these biblical dates, June 18, 1666, which leads me to believe that only the Vatican had the power and influence to spread his name worldwide, and also used these Christian imagery uh, for his Messiah, uh, for for the new Messiah. So it's the Vatican that did that. Pardon me. It's the Vatican that took over Turkey. I, there's a combination here, and I'll get to that. Uh -huh. And I will get to that logically. Uh -huh. The Sabbateans, you're right, most of Judaism, after, don't forget, more than half the Jews of the world accepted him as the new Messiah, and his, uh, uh, his tenets called for the opposite of the Torah being true. That is, do not kill became kill, if you can believe this. And the early Zionists, the labor Zionists, the Bolshevik Zionists to Israel, had just a ball with wife swapping and, and, and all kinds of, of uh, Sabbatean tenets. That's what these German Jews were turned into. Now, the other side of it was... I thought that was Talmudic. I thought that was from the Talmudic. Talmudic. And it's not Talmudic. What I'm just describing, it's the last thing from Talmudic. It's the opposite of the Talmud. Oh, now, okay. What you've got right now is a Shabtai Tzvi who is being forced by the Sultan of Turkey to accept Islam or he's going to be beheaded. He decides to accept Islam, but one, one cult, the Donma, decided that was a secret message from Shabtai Tzvi that we must convert. So they started converting to Islam, and now I'm jumping way ahead because then came in Europe Jacob Frank, who was um, the uh, Sabbatean from... I'm not going to jump ahead. I'm going to tell you. Jacob Frank in 1785 was the Sabbatean from Poland. He was converting Jews by the thousands into Catholicism. They became spies all over Europe. Well, he had a meeting finally in uh, Frankfurt, Germany, which is the capital of conspiracy, at the home of Mayor Amschel Rothschild. Now, another member was at that meeting, but he wasn't, well, he was, he was Adam Weishaupt. <laughs> who was uh, uh, the Jesuit uh, chief of the of the Illuminati? Now, no, the they, Illuminati they, no, was a real I, I, well, what I understand. See, wait, wait. Well, I'm going to interject here for a moment. I didn't. What I, under, what I understand uh, from from what what my research shows me was that the Illuminati was formed in the opposite direction because Weishaupt on his own had no. Uh, financial strength, but the the monies that came from the Rothschild fortune that in the was other afterwards. Direction. Don't mix it up again. Okay, backwards. So don't mix the it Illuminati up. The Illuminati had one purpose that was to destroy the Protestant Reformation. The Pope was going crazy. It was spreading everywhere. That was what the Illuminati, the Illuminati was going to do: uh, go into the Protestant nations and absolutely destroy their their well their structures. Family, patriotism, nationalism, religion, everything that kept these countries together were going to be under attack. That is the Illuminati. Now, there was a meeting between Jacob Frank, who is the new Messiah of the Jews, the European Shabtai Tzvi. He believes that the, the real Messiah is Shabtai Tzvi. Now, somehow or another, Adam Weishaupt got along with this guy enough they both turned to Mayor Amschel Rothschild and offered themselves as spies. Now, Rothschild did not want anything more than control of the world's money. He was a very, he was a visionary. He saw a way with enough spies entering the courts of Europe that he could get advance information and get money. That's what he was interested in. To be, uh, to get his way, Rothschild 
uh, accepted the Sabbatanism business, and he also accepted the Illuminati business. This is the conspiracy that literally controls the world and has been for almost 250 years. Now, we're talking about a Catholic Jewish conspiracy, if you want to look at it that way. But the fact is that Jacob Frank's, Fra uh, Frankus were not Jews by them. They were now converting quite openly to Catholicism, and they had abandoned Judaism. But yeah, but they were Barry, Barry, wait, wait, wait. Well, now we, we have to we have to backtrack for one moment here because because see, look, for for somebody like myself who's not religious at all, and and for other people who have uh, moved themselves into the modern world. This becomes offensive, and I'll tell you why it's offensive. Well, it's history, so it doesn't matter. No, no, it, it, it's not because it's being played out in our modern uh, on our modern television screens in front of us. The so Sabbatian it, movement? No, no, the result of it all. I don't know. Every I'm day of history. I don't. No, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. But let me let me tell you how sickening it is, Barry. Let me tell you. You've got five million people living in Israel. You there are five million people half living, million living in Boston. Living in wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. There are five uh, million people. Five wait, wait, Barry, you, you have to. Jews. I gave you a chance to speak, so let me speak, please. You have 7.9 million people living in Israel, of which 6 million approximately are Jews. Okay, so you've got 6 million Jews living in Israel. You've got, you've, in metropolitan Boston, you have the same number. And Israel is on the front page of everybody's newspaper every Get it day. Off. For Who wants it there? I don't want it there, and I'm I don't sick want of it. it there. And, and, so and then, and wait a minute. But wait, wait, wait. Not only are we, not only are we having to read this stuff that goes on there, we're having to finance it. We're sending our money there. And, don't and, send and, your money. Who's asking for it? Well, wait, 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 wait. I'm not asking for it. So but the, a, the APEC is the APEC is stealing it from my country. What? So wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. They're sending 2.6 billion dollars plus 10 billion dollars worth of unrepayable loans per year, plus everything else. You don't else. think there's a price tag attached to this? Do <laughs> you actually believe this is free? I'm trying to explain something to you. No, there's Israel nothing free, Barry. Finished. There's nothing free, you Barry. You won't have to worry anymore. There won't be any more Israel to take your money, probably in the next missile war, which will probably be this spring and summer. And all of that is finished, and you won't have to worry anymore. Glory be. I'm, I'm glad you're happy. Unfortunately, unfortunately, you don't have to attack Zionism. People far, far more powerful than you have decided that Israel goes. And those people, unfortunately, are the people I was talking about before. This, no, but, but no, no, you weren't talking about them because, Barry, Barry wait a minute. You, you, are, you have an idea that, that your history is the only one that is going to be reckoned with in this. What? You see, when I discussed with you earlier about some of these facts, some of the Khazarian facts that I know They're are true. Facts. They're, They're not they facts. are facts. They are facts. Why aren't they it's facts? Standard anti-Semitism. That's and you know nonsense. What? That is that is absolute nonsense. No, it's not nonsense. It's a fact. It is nonsense. I knew. I knew. The author, he wrote a beautiful book on the Kibbutzim, and I interviewed him. He was a very, very proud Israeli who lived in London. Who? Who wrote the Thirteenth Tribe? Arthur Kessler. Where do you think he was? Uh, where do you think he was from? So why did he write a book where about where the origins? From? Where did he, he write? Why write did he write book. a book about the yeah, origins? Semites worldwide took it. If Arthur Kessler was alive today, he would not be happy. There was a tribe, big deal. The royal family converted to Judaism. They did not move in mass to Europe. There's not one Turkish word in Yiddish. Not a one. And if you think the Jews didn't know where they were, and if you don't think that the Jews knew where they were in every little that's, city town in see, Russia, see, Barry, Barry, but that's they didn't not know what, they were in Kazaria, they that all is not, it? That is oh, not Lord. what history proves, Barry. No, no, You're on the no, wrong no, side of these exactly facts. That's exactly what history proves. No, it doesn't. Okay, it absolutely right. does not. You're, You're right. on the wrong okay, side of these facts. Go on and believe in the Kazarians. Okay, go ahead. Like, I could care less. I got real issues here. And, uh, one how, how do you explain, uh, how do you explain, uh, Max Warburg, uh, spending his entire billion, multi-billion dollar fortune on the buildup of German factories before World War One? I? I mean, two. He, how, if he in fact did that, he did do that. I, I have proof of that. How, I, I, there I was Warburg involvement from the Sabbatean side, and it's all over again, but you're not hearing this out. The Rothschilds were promoting a very different agenda. 
And mm. you keep talking like Warburg was a Jew when he wasn't. You He's Jewish. At, yeah, well, look at his sons and daughters. Find out how many Jews are. They're all there. Jews now. It's just no, like Mar it's like the Schiff family. No, the Schiff family are not Jews anymore. Well, one Schiff's grandson is married to Al Gore. Now listen, either you hear this out, I mean this is ridiculous. John Jacob Schiff has a, a, a grandson married to Al Gore's daughter. Yeah, he's real Jewish. Listen, what does that have to do with anything? He's not Jewish. They let it slip. They believe in the Sabbateanism. And we're talking two different languages here. Listen, if you want to attack Jews, you have to look at this business with the Sabbateans. <clears throat> now, let me explain once again who is going to destroy modern Israel. One is the Vatican Illuminati Jesuit gang, and the second are the Sabbateans, and that's the Council of Foreign Relations. Now, if you must know how it works, what happens very often with the CFR is they promote someone to be like vice president or president, and someone does research on him. And lo and behold, what do we discover? John Kerry, his father's a Jew and he didn't know it. And Madeleine Albright didn't know that she was raised by her Jewish family. And, her, and, 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 and Hillary Clinton's grandmother was Jewish? She didn't say that. Don't interrupt when it's not right. She said that. It's not right to say that. It's irrelevant right now. But she it's said it in front of a Jewish crowd in Israel. Shit. It was and reported on her Over and over. That was totally irrelevant. That was a fact you know, and I had to get it thrown out into the air. I'm trying to make a point, and this is hopeless. When the CFR's membership often are exposed to high rank, like Wesley Clark discovers that his father and his grandfather, they're all Jewish, the fact is there's a great deal, great deal of intermarriage in the CFR, and this is where the uh, Council on Foreign Relations is a Sabbatean tool. The same people who have been running this planet and sending it to war have been do are at it again, and they've decided that Israel goes. And if you think that the, uh, the Holocaust of the Jews in the 40s was any, it could be any different than what's coming up now, you're wrong. We have got infiltration from within. The Jews are infiltrated. Their worst enemies in Israel are not the Arabs. The Arabs are too dumb to do anything serious. We're talking about Shimon Peres. We're talking about Yossi Balin. You're talking about people who can destroy the country, give it to the Vatican, and that's what they're doing. The Vatican now. Now, who's, who in the Vatican is doing What have I been this? saying all this time? Who in the, the Vatican, Vatican is doing this? Jerusalem. They who in the Vatican Jerusalem is doing this? Now, give me a name. Charlemagne. Uh, Charlemagne, Charle Charlemagne is uh, about 600 years ago. It doesn't matter. You're talking about a, <coughs> the German, you're talking about uh, uh, the um, um, Empire, the Holy Roman Barry, Empire. Barry, wait a minute, wait a minute. Who, who in the modern era is doing Kaiser this? Kaiser Wilhelm, who put up the church. Kaiser Wilhelm died 100 years ago. Who in the modern Are you era is doing mind? this? Are you absolutely out of your mind? What do you think President Katsav went to the Rome last year for? To, oh, to then give me a name of one of the people I involved. Then you stop me again. Why one name. That? Why do you do that? Give me a I name. I start to give you the names, and there you go, blocking it again. No, go ahead. Now, no, now you be quiet for a while. This is stupid. Okay? Uh, President Katsav went to Germany, uh, to, went to the Vatican last year uh, to negotiate the end of... Uh, Israeli hegemony on Mount Zion. The issue in Israel won't go away. Uh, the Vatican want Mount Zion. They want the room uh, where they think the, the Christ had uh, his last supper, and they want it fast. Kassav said no. Kassav is now being investigated on rape charges. So Ehud Olmert went to the Vatican not a month and a half ago, and he was told outright, we want that or you're going to become Kassav. And I got news for you. He is becoming Kitsav. No, no, wait, 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 wait. I'm still asking you for some names of the... I, I can give you 50 names of Zionist Pope Jews Benedict killing us. the 16th is a name. Pope a one name. The 16th is a German pope. It's a name. Who? Kitsav is a name. Perez is a name. And Olmert is a name. These are all names. But those are Jews. I want to know what in the, in the Catholic Church who's Jew. doing it. Pope Benedict is a Jew. Who's doing this now? You think Pope Bennett, I just said for the 18th Barry, time. Barry, who in the, in the world right now is doing this? Who? Who? You really, who? really think that this is rational conversation? But Barry, you're not you telling me. You, seriously. Barry, you you're not. rational that I have to interrupt you every two seconds. Yes, you are interrupting me. I'm asking you a simple, I a said simple the name, question. 
I said the name. I gave no, you a name. No, I'm like asking you someone alive, someone breathing today. You know what? This is stupid. Let's just end this conversation. I Barry, the, you know something, Barry? I, I have never been in a conversation with somebody no, who's so obfuscating in my whole life. Okay, fair enough. Uh, do this. If you think Pope Benedict XVI is, in fact... Pope Benedict is dead! That's fine. He's that's dead! Fine. All right, that's fair Pope enough. Pope Benedict is dead! Pope Benedict is the Pope of Rome. Listen, I'm going to say it again. Pope Benedict the 16th is the Pope of Rome, and he's alive. This is stupid already. Oh, no, this but, but this, oh, this, this Jewish, the guy that was raised Jewish, the Jewish Pope. Pope Jewish Benedict Pope. the 16th is the Pope of Rome now. Yes, and he's Jewish. He's Jewish. Barry. Well, Mr. Shamish is all over the map with these facts. And I, one of the things that bothers me the most about getting in conversations with people who will not solidify certain questions, I mean, I, I've got questions, I've always had questions about this stuff, is that he will always turn it over to a, a power that we know has been emasculated. What is that power? Look around you, ladies and gentlemen. Do you find uh, Catholic priests in charge of your media? Is there a Catholic priest taking over uh, French government and running for president? Is there a Catholic priest right now destroying the United States system through the media or other organs of power? Take a look at these things rationally. I, I don't know, you know, I, I, I was not going to have Barry on, but after talking to him, I couldn't believe some of the things that came out of him, especially, especially about this, uh, the Kazarian question, and it is, a, it is a big question. History has recorded there was a mass conversion of a very large empire in the 7th century. Now, what are we to make of that? How are we to figure that white-skinned, blue-eyed people are Jewish 